Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start the third unit of a software quality testing. Okay, so the first topic in this unit is a software quality metrics, guys. Okay, so basically, whenever you are representing the quality of matrix, quality of software, so based on some parameters, we will be representing in terms of matrices. So basically, I did not find any example to show you guys, like how they are represented. Are they really represented in terms of matrices or any other way? I did not found any proper example, so that is the reason why. Let us go through the theoretical understanding only for now. Okay, yes. Okay, so basically, software quality matrices are a subset of software matrices that focus on quality aspects of the product, procedure, and project. So basically, these are the three types of software quality matrices, guys. Okay. Okay, so it's focused now. Okay, so these are the three types you can say. So these will be discussing in each and every lecture, guys. Okay, don't don't worry. Okay. Okay, so these are more closely associated with the process and product matrix that than within project matrix. Okay, so basically your question will be okay. So we understood that we these three belongs to the software quality matrices. So let let so give us some introduction about them. Okay, so let us start. So basically, what is this product matrix? So product matrix is nothing but it specifies the objectives or the characteristics of the product. So what is the length? What is the size? What is the width? in that way okay yes it describes the characteristics of the product such as a size complexity design features performance and quality level so these are some properties you can say which are showed in product matrix similarly what are showed in pro process matrix so these characteristics can be used to improve the development and maintenance activity of the software so basically in process matrix defects will be shown guys okay so we'll be discussing about those defects and so i think there are three types or four types of defects we'll be discussing them in our next lecture guys don't worry okay yes similarly in project matrix so this matrix describes the project characteristics and execution okay so what is the cost of execution what is the time time life cycle so how many developers are needed so all these things so example it includes the number of developers used the staff pattern over the life cycle like how many hours they are working in that way similarly cost schedule and productivity so these all things will be shown guys so now i hope everyone got some basic idea about the three different types of matrices right yes so in this lecture let us continue with the product matrix guys okay yes so product matrix so it basically includes these four characteristics in simple words you can say okay so the first characteristic is nothing but mean time to failure the second is a defect density the third is a customer problem the fourth is customer satisfaction guys these terms are literally self explanatory guys you can understand just by the terms itself okay yes so basically mean time to failure so basically what is the mean guys so mean is nothing but in between two right yes so that is nothing but if you are doing for the time of failure so that concept is nothing but the mean time of failure so it is the time between failures the matrix okay is mostly used with the safety criteria system such as airline traffic control or system so basically where time is really important okay so like airlines or any kind of weapons in those the time is really important right so at that places they will be using this matrix okay yes similarly defect density okay so let me go through the theory just give me a second guys i think all these answers have been collected from tutorial point i am not sure but mostly it's from tutorial point or greeks for greeks guys i think it's tutorial points only okay yes so it's it measures the defect related to the software size expected as a lines of a code or function points it measures the code quality per unit okay so this matrix is used in many commercial software systems so if you recall the name it is nothing but a density guy right so it is a defect density so basically in some lines of a code what is the density of defects so that thing will be measuring here guys so in lines of code how many defects are there for that much lines of code in that way we'll be measuring it okay similarly customers a problem okay so it measures the problem that customer encountered when using the product it contains the customer perspective towards the problem space of the software which includes the non defective oriented problems through defection okay so basically these are nothing but the direct customer problem so when you use an application so assume that you bought a new pen and you noticed that the grip is not good so those kind of defects are customer prone right yes so these will be intimated so those all will be written in this matrix okay the problem matrix is usually expressed in terms of a problems per user month 
okay so that's nothing but pum so these are some formulas guys i don't know where exactly we will be using these formulas but please go through them once okay yes okay so the last uh, fourth way is nothing but customer satisfaction so this thing i hope everyone knows right so we'll be giving some reviews right so whenever a delivery some delivery food delivery or any kind of uh, amazon delivery or anything is done we'll be giving some reviews so customer satisfaction is often measured by the customer survey through five points that is nothing but very satisfied satisfied neutral dissatisfied and very dissatisfied okay yes so based on these percentages also we'll be deciding some kind of factors okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the first type that is nothing but our product right yes so we discussed about product quality matrix okay yes so these are the four properties and we discussed about them in detail okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be continuing with the in process quality matrix guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching